All right, so let's get some uh, headlines around the world to you now. Dozens of families are mourning today as deadly violence continues in Myanmar. Deborah Pata is following this story as well as others from Johannesburg. Um, Deborah, this is really the deadliest day so far in Myanmar. Indeed, Anne-Marie, and in fact, the United Nations described the killing of at least um, 38 people as the bloodiest day since the coup just over a month ago. Now, we've seen shocking footage coming out of the country. Witnesses report that security forces opened fire with rubber and live bullets. Mass protests have been seen across Myanmar since the military seized power in February. Demonstrators are calling for an end to military rule and the release of the country's elected government leaders, including including Aung San Suu Kyi, who was overthrown and detained in the coup. The military takeover and the violent suppression of protests have led to international condemnation. The U.S. has said it is considering further action against Myanmar's military. We are in Sweden next, where a man has injured at least seven people, three seriously in a stabbing attack in the center of Fetlanda. Police are treating the case as attempted murder, but also investigating the possibility of a terrorist attack. The suspect was shot by officers and is under observation in hospital. His condition is said to be non-life-threatening. In Australia, the parents of a teenage son are mourning his death after he was stung by a box jellyfish while swimming at a Queensland beach. The 17-year-old's life support was switched off in hospital on Monday, about a week after the incident. His death is the first fatality caused by the species in Australia since 2006. Named for its shape, the Australian box jellyfish is considered to be the most venomous marine animal with long barbed tentacles covered in pockets of venom that when injected into people or animals can lead to paralysis, cardiac arrest and death. And we end on this continent in Nigeria, where what was supposed to be a joyous reunion to end the five-day ordeal of nearly 300 girls kidnapped from their boarding school erupted into violence and chaos. At least three people were shot by soldiers. It is unclear if there were any fatalities. The shooting happened during a formal handover ceremony of the girls by government officials, where infuriated parents were prevented from seeing their daughters during the lengthy speeches. They burst in and grabbed their children. The shooting reportedly happened after some people started throwing rocks at government officials. And now this issue has raised serious concern in Nigeria. It's really hard to understand how a day of hope could end in one of despair, particularly as one mother said all they were trying to do was get home before dark because the roads are unsafe and kidnapping is so rife. Anne-Marie? Really? I mean, just let them see their children. Deborah, thank you so much.